square root of a number. Friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn to find the square root using the division method. We know that the square root of a natural number x is the number, the square of which is x. A perfect square number has two square roots at the same time, negative and positive. For example, square root of 4 is 2 and minus 2, square root of 9 is 3 and minus 3. Now look at these perfect square numbers. We can find the square root of these numbers by the method of prime factorization or the repeated subtraction method. If we use these two methods to find the square root of such large whole square numbers, then it will be difficult and it will take a lot of time. But we can solve this easily by the division method. For example, take the number 3481 and let's try to find its square root by the division method. We will use this method in various stages. First, let's draw lines like this. We will place the dividend here, the divisor here and the quotient here. After this, we will place a bar on each pair of the digits starting from the units place of the given number. We have four digits here. So two pairs will be formed here and only two bars will be placed here. If the total number of digits is even, we place the bars on the numbers the same way. If the number of digits is odd, like the total number of digits in this number is 5, then the bar will be repeated like this on the left side the same way. Now we have to find the natural number whose square is equal to or smaller than the number below the leftmost bar that is 34. We can also say that we have to find the perfect square number that is less than or equal to 34. We know that the numbers 25 and 36 are perfect square numbers and the number 34 falls between 25 and 36. Because the number 25 is the largest whole square number that is smaller than the number 34, we will write the number 25 below the number 34. Here the number 34 is the first dividend. 25 is the square of the number 5, so we will consider 5 as the divisor. Here the first digit of the quotient will also be 5 because 5 times 5 is equal to 25. To find the remainder, we will subtract both the numbers. Here 9 is the remainder. Now write the number of the next pair after the remainder. This will give us a new composite number 981. Now leave a blank space for the units place of the new divisor and multiply the digit in the units place of the first divisor by 2. After this, write the product in front of the blank in this way. To fill this blank, we will find the largest digit that will be the new digit of the quotient and multiplying the new divisor by this new digit of the quotient, we get less than or equal to the product factor. Now find this number by placing different numbers. We got 109 times 9, which is equal to 981, which is equal to the new composite number. Now write the number 9 in the blank space of the denominator, because 109 times 9 equals 981. Therefore, the new number of the quotient will be 9. Now write it below the new divisional number and subtract both the numbers. Here, we are getting the remainder 0. The remainder here is 0 and there are no digits left in the given number. Therefore, this number is a perfect square number and the number here which is in place of the quotient is the square root of this number. In this way, we got the square root of the number 3481 which we will write in this way. This method of finding the square root is called the long division method. By this method, 
we will find the positive square root of a number. The positive square root of this number is 59. Can you give another square root of this number? It will be minus 59 because the square of minus 59 is also 3481. We have seen that the given perfect square has four digits and its square root has two digits. Can you guess how many digits will be there in the square root of these perfect square numbers? If you want, you can pause the video here and solve the question. If we have a perfect square of a digit n, and n is an even number, then its square root will be n by 2 digits, and if n is an odd number, then its square root will be n plus 1 by 2. For example, look at these numbers. If you look carefully here, you will find that the number of digits in the square root of a perfect square number is equal to the total number of bars placed over this digit. In this video, we learned how to find the square root using the division method and how to get an estimate of the number of digits in the square root of a perfect square number. In the next video, we will see some examples related to it. Thank you.